Hello guys, Midas back with another Tap Shape video and today we'll be looking at expanding our knowledge on arrays. So like I promised in the previous video, today we'll be learning how to replace, uh, how to remove rather, entries uh, in array at any position you would like or whichever, maybe by what uh, some criteria that you like to filter by, right? So yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to do today. So before we can continue, for all the new people, please click on the subscription button below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video so we can continue learning together. Let's go. We're continuing from, from the lesson from yesterday. So today we'll learn how to actually remove entries at a specific point in, in our... In our array. So I'm just going to write a function quickly that creates uh, an array uh, for us depending on, on, on what we supply it, so on how many elements we actually want in our array. So I'll just uh, call the, the parameter n and I'll call it a, a number. So this should return an array to us. So I'll do, I'll just say const array here, array equals to we want a numbers array. Numbers array. Sorry. Numbers array. And so we want to add numbers in, in within that range. So we'll start off at let i equals to zero. And we space that out. I has an n. Uh, so yeah. I plus plus, and then what we want to do, we like to push, push, I plus one into the array, and then we want to return an array to the the array that was created to us. So this is just a, a quick function to use. We've looked at uh, functions in our in our in our previous video. So we could actually just go, if we want, uh, if we want uh, an array with ten, uh, from 1 to 10, we just say that, and then this should return an array to us. So let's just test that out for a bit. So the lock numbers, let's see, I want to clear that to see. There. So that's just a, a function. So if you 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 haven't seen my uh, function uh, my video on functions, look at the top right of your screen and you sh it should be popping out out right about now. So just watch that video so you can learn uh, about functions. But I'll just explain it uh, quickly here. So what this function is doing is actually taking a takes in a parameter n of type number and creates an array of numbers so depending on on the number n so if if i actually want wanted to get i'll just call this more numbers more numbers here and then i want a hundred elements so it would actually just create an array for us so here instead of logging numbers i'll log more numbers this should be so you should see numbers from 1 to 100. This is so we we can work nicely. So this we can work nicely now without worrying about loading numbers into array manually. So this is what we'll be using. So now we have our numbers array here. We know that it has entries 1 to 10. So let's say we want to remove a number at position 2. So there's this method on, on your array called the splice. So it actually cuts your list from a point, from one point to another point, depending on, on what you want it to be. So we, we use it the same way as our push and pop. So the dot notation, so you go uh, dot splice. So if you look at this little snippet over here, it tells you about the function that we're trying to use. 
so it tells you this is your splice method which is the name of the of the method like we have here and then it tells you the first argument is your starting point so the starting point is actually where you want to start deleting from so your index so if you wanted to start deleting from the first number your starting point would be zero and if and then you would need to tell it you don't need to tell it but it behaves differently be, uh, depending on, on whether you tell it the delete count or not. The delete count is the optional parameter on your splice method. So if you don't supply it, it actually deletes everything from that point onwards. So let's look at that now. So let's say we wanted to delete the, the first element, right? And then we have one. That's where we want to start. Let's see. Let me just log uh, our array just before we, we do that. And then log it afterwards. Let's share that. There. So look at these two. So the first one, we have our array from 1 to 10. And then the second one, we have 1. So it deleted everything from position 1 onwards, which is everything from 2 to 10 so it deleted all of those this is because we didn't tell it how many things to delete if you don't tell it how many things to delete it will delete from that point onwards so now if we only wanted to delete two we'd have to tell it oh our count is actually two we actually want to delete sorry not two but one we actually want to delete one element from the array so i'll do that compile and then run so now looking at our array we can see that two is gone and everything else is still is still there for us so if you wanted to remove uh, two and three so you your delete count would be two so you're saying start at two and delete two things right the next so it three should now we should see three so three is gone now we removed two we removed these two so if you wanted to delete only six so we know that six is at position one Six is actually at position five, right? So we go five and one. So you only want to delete to delete six. So compile, run. So now we can see here one, two, three, four, five, and six is gone because we only wanted to delete the number at position five alone. So the count is one. So only that. So but let's say you wanted to delete the, the last three elements. So the last three elements would be from 8, 9. You wanted to delete 8, 9, and 10. So you know that 8 is at position 7. You can actually just go from position 7. So because you're saying delete everything from that position. So now compile it, run it, and then you see 8, 9, and 10 are gone. I hope that I, I hope that's clear. So now let's just try and solve a, a, fun, a fun problem. So I'm going to remove those things over here. So, and let's make our list bigger. Let's say now we want uh, 100 elements in, in, in our list. And we want to, actually, let's just start off with 10. Let's start off with 10. Let's say we wanted to remove uh, the even numbers from, from this array. So you can start solving the problem by yourself and tell uh, just you can share your code in, in the comment section below let's just see uh, solutions you guys come up with I'll come up with mine now if you want to pause the video now just pause the video but I'm gonna continue solving the problem so let's say we wanted to remove uh, the even numbers from the array right so what would we do we need to iterate through the array and then find our even numbers and remove them from from the array so we'd use it then the method that we just learned now the splice method to do that so let's do that so now I'm gonna have my for loop uh, I starting off at zero I less than we could actually just go numbers dot length there and then I plus plus right. So we're saying, okay, find the number in our array. If it's even, remove it. So what's the number that we're looking for in our array? 
So our current number in our array would actually just call it, let's call it num, would be the number at position i at that time. So now we want we say, okay, this is the number we're looking at now. So we want to check if this number here is even, then we want to remove it from the array. So I'll go if, and I, sh I showed you how to use the, the mod function in, in the previous videos. If you haven't seen that, uh, it should be a suggestion of the video right about now in the top uh, right of, of this video. Just have a look at that video and then come back to this one. So we want to see if the number is actually divisible by 2. We say divisible, we check the remainder. And then if that's 0, then we want to remove that number from the array. So I'll just go num, uh, not num, sorry, numbers dot splice. So we're removing the number at position i, but we only want to remove that number. We don't want to remove all of the numbers. So we have that as our solution. So let me just log what our array looks like before uh, and then after we've changed it. So I'm going to share that. Compile again. Compile it. And then run it. So now let's see. Look at uh, our solution. So we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So we actually we were, we're actually able to remove the numbers in in our array. This works, but not really. So this only works now because our array is in order. If our array was not in order, we need to change uh, some of our logic here to keep track of, of the things we're removing. Because every time you remove something, the length of your array shrinks. So yeah, we'll, we'll get to solve uh, the full problem in the, in the next video. Let's go.